Come on, give me a high five. Chest bump. Huh. I went right through him. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mods tutorials. Today, we're going to be covering the pseudo skill mechanic. Now, this mechanic is quite interesting because there's a lot you can do with it. But for many minds, it might seem like a redundant thing to have. However, I'm going to show you the reason why it isn't. So before we get started, if you haven't already, make sure to hop on into my Discord channel. Link will be in the description below. Lots of cool stuff going on over there. Lots of cool showcases, player uh, community questions being answered, giveaways, stuff like that, contests. And you get to hear about my server, which is now public. That's sorry, I haven't advertised for it yet, but it is public. So make sure to check out my Discord channel for the, uh, you know, the IP. And if you want to join, well, make sure to, well, go ahead and do so. So now let's go ahead and get started. So... What you're gonna need first, as always, is you're gonna need your uh, your base mob. Here I have pseudo skill mob, which is a zombie, which is exactly the same as every other tutorial. Yay! So, and then what I have going on here is my pseudo dummy, which is a husk, and I actually have him targeting the zombie because this guy is going to fill in as my teammate. That's right. He's going to act as if he is another player, and yes, that is going to mess with some targeters, but that's okay. All we're worried about is trying to figure out how pseudo skill works. So, uh, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to type in skill s equals, uh, let's call it pseudo projectile. Projectile at target on timer. 60. Now one thing I figured out is you cannot use pseudo skill in a mob file apparently while on a timer. I, I don't know why but pseudo skill and timer just do not play uh, play together very well in 4.9.1. Uh, it probably works in previous and later versions but just as of right now I'm just letting you know that it doesn't currently uh, work that way. However it still works with like on damaged on interact and it will still work if you set it up as a meta skill. So. I don't know. I'm sure that'll get fixed. Uh, it does work overall, so you don't have to worry about it, because that's, uh, if it didn't, I wouldn't be making this tutorial. So, now, we're going to go ahead and jump into our skill file. So we're going to copy our skill name here. Paste it, of course. And now we're going to set up the pseudo. So what we're going to do, uh, pseudo skill, S equals, we'll call it friendly, 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 fire okay this is going to be targeting us so basically imagine pseudo skill as you're setting up a skill for your mob to use but then after you set up that skill you're going to force your mob to force the target to use it instead if that makes any sense to you if not just keep following along because i promise it will as we go so we're going to go back into our skill file here and we're going to start typing out our skill friendly fire okay skills and i'm gonna type out all the projectile stuff which i will recap when i am done so i'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the video here okay so now that we have it all typed out we're gonna go ahead and save here and to recap so essentially this is just telling the mob to make us run the skill pseudo skill means that whoever the mob's target is will be the one activating the skill so since we're going to be the target, we are going to be the firing the projectile at our mob here, which we named pseudo dummy. Now, of course, if you were setting it up as a normal boss, you would have at PIR and then just like radius, whatever you want. And that would be it. However, since the husk is filling in as my teammate, I'm going to leave it as is. And here we have the rest of our projectile stuff, you know, our fancy particles and then the on hit effect of damage. So let's go ahead and reload. And we're gonna spawn in our friend and our enemy. Spawn pseudo dummy. Use our ally. Come on, give me a high five. Chest bump. Huh. I went right through him. Uh, let's now let's go ahead and spawn in our mob. Okay, so as you can see, he's forcing me to shoot projectiles at my teammate, even though I don't want to be. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. I promise. But yeah, so that's pretty much how pseudo skill works. You can do it that way. And what makes it convenient is like, say you're way out here, but he's still targeting you anyway. 
it's a good way to make you deal damage to your teammates without having your mob have to target all of them. And it can work just the same if I were to be like, um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and just, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just tag all this. We're gonna duplicate. We're gonna make a different friendly fire. So, friendly, friendly, again, fire skills. And this time we're gonna do effect particles. Article equals flame. Uh, amount equals 100, yada yada. This is the boring part, I know. Speed equals 0 0.1. Uh, make sure you actually type it out correctly, unlike me. Very important. Y equals 1. At self, and then sound s equals entity dot generic dot explode, because we like combusting. I seem to do it a lot in my tutorials. And now with damage amount equals five at uh, mobs. We're actually, we're just gonna copy this. I don't feel like typing it all out. Okay, so now that we have that done, I should be exploding and anyone, we're gonna turn that radius down because that's actually insane. So we're gonna turn that down to a radius of three just to show you how well it can work. Where'd my friend go? Well, I guess he died. Well, that's sad. Anyway, we're gonna reload. Make sure that I saved, because I don't, okay, I saved. So as you can see, I'm exploding. Uh, I should be taking damage, however, I'm not doing it just for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, so we're gonna spawn in our front here. Okay, so as you can see, nothing's happening. I would be taking damage, however, if I get close enough to my friend here, now I'm dealing damage to him just by being close enough. That's the beauty of uh, pseudo skill, guys. You don't have to have your mob target every single person. You can make him target one person and affect multiple people still by using area of effect skills that like uh, this damage at mobs and radius. So it's a it's a very very cool mechanic. I think it's super duper duper helpful and like it. I don't know. It can change up the battlefield. It can definitely make it to where the uh, battle isn't just between one person. You can get more people in by like you know obviously just being hey buddy what's up? <gasps> oh no I'm sorry. You know, if that makes sense, so... Uh, yeah, don't hug your teammates with a bomb strapped to your chest, I guess. I don't know, that probably should get censored. Anyway, so... That's, uh... Let me go ahead and kill them off here. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if this inspired you, answered any questions clarified, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below or in my Discord channel for any future tutorials you might like to see, uh, covered any future mechanics or anything like that. One thing I want to go ahead and mention now, I will not break down the skills of other people's bosses. I've been asked that a few times, and the answer is and will always be no. I will not tell you how to make the skills of another person's boss. That is stealing from artists, and I do not condone that. So, with that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.